Lisa, you were telling me yesterday your mom was trolling you a little bit, asking you where the snow was, and now you got something to say. <laughs> yeah, I texted her this morning and I said, so mom, she lives in Evergreen. I said, how are you feeling now? Are you happy this morning? And she said, I'm just glad we don't have sidewalks. So I think she's happy. They have well over a foot there in Evergreen. And for all of you that were disappointed yesterday, Listen, I don't want to get it wrong because at 43 years old, my mom will still ground me. So trust me, we want to get this right. And I think now things are starting to pan out a little bit. It was just a really slow moving storm. It's going to snow all day long though today. And we're seeing some bands of heavier snow this morning. The heaviest snow will fall here within the next few hours. It's going to lighten up a little bit later today, but we're still seeing those winds coming in out of the east and northeast. And now the low pressure system itself centered just to the south and right over parts of southern Colorado. So we're getting all of that wet weather that's pushing up against the foothills, the Front Range Mountains and spots like Fort Collins and up north into Wyoming into Cheyenne. Some really impressive totals. I want to send it out now live to Katie LaSalle, who's live in downtown. And Katie, some of those numbers well over a foot earlier this morning. Oh my goodness, it's great to see the snow finally has arrived and especially considering yesterday where a lot of things paused just in the anticipation of but hey over a foot recorded near Loveland. Let's take a look at some of the preliminary snow totals. Of course, things will change over the course of the day as more snow continues to fall, but 16 in Fort Collins, same up near Loveland and Larimer County, golden at a foot, Boulder about 10 inches right now and where we're standing in DIA uh, out at downtown around seven and DIA already court recorded over 11 inches of snow. You know, the main thing is, is I'm glad it's Sunday and hopefully if you don't need to be anywhere today, you can just kind of hang out at home and stay warm. We're out here in the snow. It is cold and with those winds from the north northeast sustained around 15 to 25 miles per hour. And when the wind gusts come in and the snow kicks up and oh, wind chill vibes feel like you're in the teens, it's definitely a nice day to be inside. But you know, if you do have to be out and about, we've been talking about it all morning, just play it safe. And for more on the additional so snow that we're expecting for the rest of the day, Lisa, what What's the rest of our forecast looking like? Yeah, I know the winds are brutal when you're out there. It makes it feel like teens this morning, but it's what we needed in order to get some of these more impressive totals that I know a lot of you were hoping for. And now you're seeing you can see all of it again, smashing up against the foothills this morning, and we're going to continue to see that here over the next few hours. So spots like Fort Collins West up in through parts of Larimer County, Boulder counties, Jefferson County, picking up some of the more uh, one to two inch snowfall rates within an hour here over the next couple of hours. Those wind gusts have been anywhere from 20 to near 40 miles per hour over the northeast Eastern Plains, and so it's going to blow some of that snow around. So some of the roadways that do get plowed will see more blowing snow, and it's going to make for some pretty icy conditions out there this morning over the northern and northeastern edges of our state. Here's the view from City Park, downtown Denver. It's out there somewhere. We're at 31 degrees. We're going to hover near freezing all day long, but it is going to feel like teens. Here's a look at some of those wind chills. Fort Collins, 16, Denver, 18, Greeley, 19. So a pretty cold afternoon in store. Take a look at future cast. Now we're likely going to see some of the areas in darker blue where the bullseye of some of the heavy snow will be will continue. You've got more of a rain snow mix out across the northeastern corner of the state. So likely an additional two to three inches there heavier, potentially another three to seven inches for us here in town throughout the day today. By tonight, right around nine o'clock, you can see how future cast starts to turn a little bit lighter. That's going to be the lighter snow that will develop. And then by early tomorrow morning, really start to taper off likely from west to east as that low pressure system pushes east and then lifts up into the Great Lakes here over the next couple of days. We will see some light snow in the mountains, but that's going to also start to taper off a bit. It's still unsettled though, and we have winter storm warnings that will remain in effect until early tomorrow morning. Here's what I think some of our totals are finally going to come out as what we were calling for a couple of days ago. Again, it just took some time. Uh, Northern Colorado, Fort Collins, north up into Wellington, about 12 to 24 inches by tonight across the metro area, likely over a foot and then a couple of feet still possible there in through the foothills. Our super seven day does warm up gradually. Today we're going to be at about 32 tomorrow slushy in the morning. If your kids do have school tomorrow, we do have a couple of districts that are going to be on spring break starting tomorrow. But if they do have school, we're going to see some slushy roads and early on we may see some delays. So stay with Denver seven uh, for more information on that. By the end of the week, what a nice warm up come Thursday and Friday. You guys, that'll be where things really get melting off uh, by Thursday 52. Friday looks gorgeous, close to 60 right before spring officially starts on Saturday.